Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Katie. I am the owner and artist behind Salvaged by K. Scott. I make my living right here out of my home, painting and restyling found and thrifted furniture pieces and bringing them right back to life. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, but you're interested in seeing how I take really outdated and worn down pieces of furniture and transforming them into modern contemporary designs, please take a second to subscribe before you go. Today's video is gonna be a really quick, simple flip of a $5 nightstand that I found at my local thrift store. Usually when I'm out thrifting, I tend to avoid single nightstands or end tables like this, just because there's not a lot of profit margin in one. People are usually looking for matching pairs or sets. But when I saw this little guy hiding in the back of the thrift store with a $5 price tag on it, I just couldn't resist. This guy is in really great structural condition. It's got a little bit of wear and tear, but with a couple of minor tweaks, I think I can make a really big difference. I'm gonna start by removing the hardware. And before I give this piece a really good scrub down like I usually do, I'm actually gonna take my flathead screwdriver and gently pry off these decorative moldings on the front of the drawers. Nightstands from the thrift store always seem to come with fun little goodies inside. It's a really good reason to make sure that you remove all of the drawers and clean the inside as well as you clean the outside of your pieces. I'm going to give this nightstand a really good scrub down with some hot water and TSP, which is a degreasing, deglossing cleaner. You want to make sure that you use gloves when you're using this product as it is caustic and can harm your skin. To fill in the nail holes as well as the old hardware holes on the front of my drawers, I'm going to mix up some of this Minwax high performance wood filler and fill in those imperfections. Once my filler was nice and dry, I came in with some 150 grit sandpaper to smooth it out as well as scuff sand my entire piece and buff out any imperfections. I also took a few minutes to sand out the inside of the drawers just to clean up any ink stains or the craft glue that was there from the previous owner.
Once I was finished sanding everything smooth, I wiped the piece back with a damp cloth to remove all of my sanding dust. I'm gonna take the legs off to paint this piece, but I will be keeping them and just modifying them a little bit. The next step for me is to prime with my favorite Zinzer Bin shellac based primer. This stuff is messy and hard to clean up, so I like to line my tray with aluminum foil and use a disposable roller. That way when I'm done, I don't have to clean anything up. This primer is going to serve two purposes for me. It's going to unify all of the different textures that I have going on now that I've sanded and filled some areas and it's also gonna block any stains from wood tannins leaking up through my new paint job. I like to let this primer dry really well overnight whenever time allows. And then I came back with some super fine sandpaper on my surf prep again and sanded back any texture that was left behind by the roller. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm gonna be painting this nightstand in this beautiful green color by Country Chic Paint called Wanderous. Country Chic Paint is a clay-based chalk style paint that is pretty thick. In the hopper of my paint gun, I mixed about a third of a pint of the color with about two tablespoons of water and gave it a really good shake up. I only needed two thin coats of this color to get really awesome coverage. I let the paint dry for about two hours between coats and then another two hours before I top coated. That being said, dry times can vary drastically depending on the weather and the climate that you're painting in. And to protect my new paint job, I sealed everything up with two coats of Verithane Diamond Wood Finish in a satin sheen. I really wanted to update the look of these legs on this piece and they were solid maple so I asked my husband if he could cut them down to something a little more slender and sleek. If you aren't able to cut these for yourself or don't have someone who can, there are lots of great options for modern furniture legs online. I'm not even going to attempt to tell you what he did here but he was able to cut them down using our table saw. Once he got my legs cut down for me, I sanded them with some 150 grit sandpaper to expose that beautiful natural wood.
I screwed them right back onto the base of the nightstand and sealed them with two coats of my top coat. And for the last finishing touch on this transformation, I ordered two new raw wood poles from homedepot.ca and installed them on the drawer fronts. Thanks so much for hanging out with me again today. Make sure that you remember to subscribe before you go. Leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below and I will catch you guys next time.